Welcome to Texas All-Star Wrestling. Steve Stack here at ringside. We'll be going to the ring with Marty Martinez in our opening match in just a moment. El Madrill is here with me now. All you see is his back. He's got a match scheduled here on Texas All-Star Wrestling today. Also exciting, Shawn Michaels is here, the American yeah, Force. Real exciting. The martial arts expert, Kim Duck, Chavo Guerrero, and much, much more. And when I say much, much more, I'm speaking of 600-pound voodoo malumba. So stay tuned. The hour of excitement about to begin with Texas All-Star Wrestling. <laughs> El Madrill, you're smiling. It seems like everything seems to be going your way right now. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Stephen. I want to tell this to all these fans that are listening right now. You you know, Armand Hussein to me has probably got to be one of the greatest minds in the wrestling today because he brings in the likes of Voodoo Malumba because I told him I need a little, I have a little problem with this big fat Bluto Terminator. If he'd do me a favor, he brought in Voodoo Malumba. And now he also brought in the greatest martial art wrestler of all time, Kim Duck. You people are going to see him very shortly and see what kind of wrestler and how tough he is. Well, what about you and Jose Lothario, huh? <laughs> you see this here? Eventually, Jose Lothario and myself, we're going to get together, just me and him. I don't want no outsiders. I don't want the Terminator. I don't want Chavo. I don't want nobody. I want to prove to these people who's tougher, Jose Lothario or Al Madrill. Well, you know, Lothario was nine times a Texas heavyweight champion, five times a brass knuckles champion. Yeah. Well, Jose Lothario don't mean nothing to me, baby. The only thing he could box is oranges. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now let's go to our ring announcer, Marty Martinez, in the opening match. This event, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing on my right, weighing in at 230 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, Dusty Woods. His opponent weighing in at 280 pounds from Korea, the Honorable Arman Hussein presents the Oriental Assassin, Kim Duck. Well, here's the man you were telling me about. Now you're laughing already. That's a, that's a kendo stick that he has. He shouldn't even have it in the ring. I'll tell you what, Steve. I told you earlier, this man is probably one of the greatest martial arts wrestlers of all time, baby. He knows them all. Karate, Kung Fu, Kendo, Aikido, Judo. He knows them all. Now he goes through the ceremony that all the Oriental wrestlers go through to ritual where they get the evil spirits out of the ring. That's exactly what he does. I've known this man for years and years. He's probably one of the best wrestlers out of the Orient to come to the U.S. Right, he's taking on Dusty Woods. Dusty Woods backs off as he had Kim Duck under the rope. Look at Duck move. Hey, this guy's a big man, 270 pounds. <laughs> I tell you, he can out-wrestle. Tell me one thing, Steve. Where is this Dusty guy from? Dusty Woods now makes his home in San Antonio. <laughs> Another San Antonio wrestler, like Manuel Villalobos, like whoever else is from here, they are they are not even worth it. Well, there's a little hair pulling there by Kim Duck. See that duck? Kim Duck is making duck soup out of this guy. Kim Duck holds on to the left arm. Well, Madrill, I know that Kim Duck has been around. He's been in professional wrestling about 15 years. You've been in the Orient with him. You've seen him in other parts of the world. Very, very vicious. That's for, you know, very well, true. Why do you think that Armand Hussein has gone out and brought him to Texas All-Star Wrestling? <laughs> you see, Armand Hussein is my type of man only because I told Armand, you know what, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this fat porker Terminator. I said, can you help me out? And he said, Al, don't you remember when you and Big Voodoo were a team? And I said, oh, yeah. So he got a hold of Voodoo, and here he is. You know, I have to be honest with you, Steve. I had a little bit of a worry about the Terminator. But now that the Voodoo man is here, I have no problem. And then Kim Duck, too, so that <laughs> makes it a little more secure, <laughs> I can tell. Oh, 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 what a big chop there. It's very skilled in all the martial arts. You know, all the Oriental wrestlers are that way. They, they learn all those from the small age where our kids learn to play softball, baseball, and football. They learn the martial arts. That's right. You know, Kim Duck doesn't speak too much English, but Armand Hussein, he speaks German, he speaks France, he speaks African, he speaks Chinese, he speaks all the languages. And I talked to Duck a little bit earlier, and he said that he was a little kid, about five years old, and he went to school, he learned the martial arts, and he hasn't stopped yet. And he's still learning. He said he's one of the masters uh, for about 10 years. Steve, this man was all Asian champion. Kim Duck choking as a referee is over talking to Armand Hussein. Oh, now see, there you go again. That's a Japanese sleeper, and right away you call it a choke. What kind of man are you, Steve Stack? Kim Duck reaches down, has the hair of Dusty Wood. Oh, there's that big back kick. They use the feet a lot. That's right. He knows all these kicks with its front kick or back kick or roundhouse. Kim What's Duck knows all now? the. Now He's you watch this. Here comes a good chop, I'm sure. 
I've seen. You've seen him in the ring before. <laughs> Just bad enough when you're that big getting a chop, and then when you go up on that second rope and come diving down there with a chop. Well, you know what? There's Steve? a whistle. Now, that, now you see, when the whistle blows, I still say it's a signal. <laughs> what can I tell you? You know, I'll tell you what. These uh, so-called big-time wrestlers here from San Antonio ain't so hot. You know, I mean, last week, this big Shawn Michaels made his big whoopie do uh, debut here, and everybody went crazy. I didn't go crazy. He interferes in my match. Now, what kind of man is that? Well, we're going to see Shawn Michaels a little later on. We're going to show him what you're talking about interference. Also, Voodoo Valumba's here today. <laughs> Back into the ring, Dusty Woods burying that shoulder in to the uh, midsection of Kim Duck. But Duck, you can see, come out of there very strong. Puts Dusty Woods in the corner. Oh, what a four. <laughs> and later on in this program, Steve, tell the fans who Big Al's going to wrestle, baby. Big Al Madrill. Oh, what a flip from Dusty Woods. Wait a minute, Dusty Woods may have him. Nope. Never happened, baby. Here comes Woods. There's a clothesline. Kim Duck caught him bouncing off that ropes. Now, Kim Duck, what's he going to do with him? He's going to whip him into the ropes again. Oh, what a you kick. You see that beautiful kick? That's all for Dusty. He's finished now. I know he is. I know he is. Because this is a knockout kick. This is his favorite move. There you go. That looked like it may have been karate to me. That was very close. There's a count. One, two, three, and Kim Duck comes up with a victory here on Texas All-Star right now. Still, oh, now he takes the stick. Now he takes the stick. The kendo stick he is using on Dusty Woods. Hey, the match is already over. I, I thought he used karate to win the match in the first place. Now the referee is asking for the bell again. He's reversing the decision. No, what? Yeah, that's, that's for punishing the wrestler after he'd already won. So it's going to be Dusty Woods, the winner, even though he is getting beat up awful bad. Yeah, Dusty Woods really looks like a winner to me, Steve. <laughs> there it is. Kim Duck continues to punish Dusty Woods, a reversal on a decision. Dusty the Woods, the winner on a disqualification. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because we'll be back with another match here on Texas All-Star. Pretty boy Paul Kelly is here. We'll be talking to him in just a moment. But ladies and gentlemen, this past Sunday night at the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Rick McCord defended his USA Junior Heavyweight against Pretty Boy Paul Kelly. It had to be one of the toughest matches I've ever seen for the USA Junior Heavyweight title. And we happen to have some videotape of that match. So let's pick up the action at the Freeman Coliseum. Does he get the victory this time? No, as once again, it was just a two count. Rick McCord, the USA Junior Heavyweight Champion, defending that title. Has Kelly down for another two count. Al McCord, the champion, really pouring it on at this point of the match. Here's McCord, bouncing off the rope. Shoulder tackle, knocks Paul Kelly down. Here comes McCord again. Oh, right into the referee. Right into the referee, Fred Sinclair. He rolls out onto the timekeeper's table. Kelly has come out of the ring. What's Kelly doing? Oh, he's reached out and he grabbed the chair. I'd like to knock John Martinez down as Martinez was sitting in that chair. Here comes Kelly. Oh, right to the head of Rick McCord. That's it. McCord is out cold. The referee is still shaking it off. He has made it his way up onto the apron and trying to crawl in. Kelly with a knee now across the head of Rick McCord. There's another knee. Referee Fred Sinclair has made it back into the ring. Kelly is over talking to Fred Sinclair. Kelly going back to McCord and there's that reverse neck breaker. It's won a lot of matches for Paul Kelly and it may just win him. Oh, the referee counts one and now he's asking for the bell. The referee counted one and then he turned around to the timekeeper and asked for the bell. Kelly is up. Did he win the title? No, the referee puts his hand down. He raises the hand of Rick McCord. What a strange turn of events there. Kelly thought he had won. Referee has told the ring announcer that it's a disqualification. Kelly disqualified for using the chair. Kelly has come outside the ring and he has taken the USA Junior Heavyweight Championship belt. It doesn't belong to him. 
Well, we've intercepted Rick McCord on the way back to the dressing room. Rick, I thought you were out cold when he hit you with that chair. I don't know what happened. He hit me with the chair. I went out like a light. Paul Kelly, let me tell you something. You think the war's over, it's just beginning. I promise you one thing, it's no longer a title match. This is all out war. Paul Kelly, Prevo, you're gonna pay with everything you got. It well, the chair did a lot of damage to... Don't worry about the chair, Rick McCord. He almost looked good. He almost looked good. Not as good as a pretty boy, mind you, not as good. But that red was so becoming on his face. It almost made him look handsome. What I want to know is how come, Steve, when I came back, they said I had to give the title back. Why? I'll tell you why. Because when I'm in the ring and I'm fighting a champion, to me, the winner of the championship match is the guy that's standing when the battle is over. I was standing and he was laying out. So I've gone to the promoters and I said, hey man, I need a no DQ match where I can do anything I want to and do it my way. Rick McCord, oh man, they say it's easier the second time around, but not with me, baby. Not with me. <laughs> He's going to be red all over his body this time. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The pretty boy, Paul Kelly, looking forward to another match with Rick McCord in the USA Junior Heavyweight title. Stay tuned because we'll be back with another exciting match right after this. This event, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing to my right, weighing in at 205 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, John Guzman. From Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 235 pounds, El Madrill. Well, El Madrill has left the mic here, and he is going into the ring to meet John Guzman from San Antonio and coming up to take Al's place, and I'd much rather have him up here, it's Bubba the Terminator. Hey, thanks Steve, I'm glad to be here tonight and uh, I'm real interested to see how you'll fare out in this match here. Now Terminator, Al Madrill has got nothing nice to say about anybody and here we're watching him in the ring against Guzman. You know, Al Madrill's gonna have his hands full. He's gonna be meeting Jose Lothario in some single battle matches you know and anytime you meet jose it's always a tough fight oh yeah definitely uh jose's got a good boxing experience and plus as many years as a wrestler but although uh al is a very formidable foe you know he's a very knowledgeable wrestler he's got a lot of experience you know and and plus the fact that uh there is a little bit of uh illegalness about him well al madrill very very smartly prances around the ring oh yeah is it, Here's the set out here. Guzman tries to set out. Madrill goes right with him, puts a forearm across the chest. Now Madrill grabs him by the head. Oh, he popped oh, him right over. Down goes Guzman as Madrill. Now you see Madrill using those fists. Like you said earlier, he better look out because uh, Jose's been a boxer. You know, Jose uh, not only has been a boxer, as Madrill pounds Guzman's head into the television stand camera, camera stand. Jose was a brass knuckles champion in Texas for five times. And I mean, you gotta be tough. Oh yeah, but you never know. This guy Madrill, like I say, he's very formal. You never know what he's gonna do. Or you never know what trick he's got up his sleeve. Well, Madrill reaches down, grabs the arm of Guzman. Also, Jose was nine time Texas heavyweight champion. And uh, I, uh, what can you say about Jose? If Madrill wants to get in there and fight with a fist, Jose will take him. If uh, Madrill wants to put a boxing glove on that fist, a tape oh, yeah. on that fist, I'm sure uh, Jose will be glad to go along with him. I tell you, uh, Al doesn't know what he's got himself in for. I mean, you know, going in there, he's on uh, Jose's turf, so to speak, you know? I mean, he's getting mixed up in something he may, may regret. 
Well, Madrill right now just uh, about handling Guzman any way he wants to. I think Madrill is just out here warming up a little bit, hoping that Jose Lothario might be watching so that uh, Jose will know what Madrill is capable of. I think he already knows that, though. Oh, yeah, but this man here is a whole different, you're, you're, you're complaining, uh, you're uh, comparing uh, two different individuals. You know, Jose, a man of experience, years, a larger man. And plus all the stuff that he has under his belt, you know, as far as wrestling ability and the boxing ability. He was Golden Gloves champ. He's an excellent boxer, as you say. He was a Brass Knuckles champ for many years. The man's just a very capable man. Well, Madrill has taken Guzman, got him out of the ring. Now, here goes Madrill out after him. Madrill turns him around to the crowd, and then he pops one on the head. You're watching Texas All-Star Wrestling from the Wrestlethon in San Antonio, Texas, where we are every Monday night. And our new summer starting time is 8 o'clock. So come on out. We'd like to see you. And you'll see the Terminators. Oh, yeah, I'd, love to, I'd like to see all those little kids coming out. The people here have been so good to me. You know, since of all, all the stuff, that I've, all the problems I've had and that stuff. And I mean, you know, it's just been so wonderful. It really makes me feel good, you know. This is like a, a second home to me, you know. It made me feel so wonderful. Now, Madrill, I believe, is claiming that Guzman might have used the hair. But Madrill doesn't like it, no matter who puts him down. He always says that they did something illegal. But that was a good move there from really Guzman. Good Here he goes for a leg down. Step oh, inside yeah. toe. Oh, look at that. The guy, yeah, this young wrestler is very, very good. Very knowledgeable. And, of course, every time you get into the ring, you learn something new. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, I've been working real hard with Jose Lothario. You know, he's teaching me a whole lot. Uh, I've learned a, a whole lot of new moves. Uh, I'm working real hard, lifting heavy, you know, and... I think it's going to really help me in these future matches. Guzman still ho holding on to the leg of El Madrill. Oh, Madrill kicks him off. Madrill going up with forearms across the chest. There's another one across the chest and another one. And Guzman is learning what it's like to meet a professional in the ring like El Madrill, who throws the record book out the window. Oh, yeah. When Al's in the ring, definitely can throw all the books out the window because he's there to win. He's a tough competitor. Uh, he'll do anything that he can to get that win. You know, there's nothing uh, that you can get, you know, get away with as far as he, he's concerned. You know, he's very tough. Well, Guzman turns it around. He oh, slams yeah. Madrill's head into that turnbuckle, takes him across the ring. There's the line. Oh yeah. Lock. Yeah, that's it. Guzman knocks Madrill oh, out yeah. of the ring. The people love it. Oh yeah. When the shoes on the other foot, Al's on the outside. They're crying the blues. But now, you know, Sinzo gets a taste of his own medicine. Well, Madrill once again claiming a little hair pulling as the referee Fred Sinclair tries to get him into the ring, and here he comes. Oh, yeah. Well, the Terminator here with us, all 405 pounds as Guzman lays a couple on the jaw. There he goes with another one. The referee steps in between. Oh, Madrill punches him. Madrill sucker punched him. He knocked him out. That was a sucker punch from El Madrill. No doubt about that. Well, like I say, you know, that man will do anything to get a win, you know, and I mean, it doesn't take a minute for something like that. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. El Madrill with a sucker punch has knocked out Guzman. The referee was blocked out of the way. El Madrill wins it. Stay tuned because we'll be back with another match right after this. This event, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing on my left, weighing in at 250 pounds, from Missouri, Ken Johnson. <laughs> At 230 pounds from San Antonio, Texas, Shawn Michaels. Well, Shawn Michaels is back here on Texas All Star Wrestling now as he goes up against Kim Johnson. Michaels hooks up with Johnson. Now Johnson with the arm bar and reverse, and Michaels reverses that. 
Here I am, Steve. I know you asked for it. The people asked for it, and here I am. <laughs> well, you're back again. Yeah, I don't think the only thing the people were asking for, Elmer Drill, was Jose Lothario come down and punch you out. That was a sucker punch you threw at that young kid. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. Now, you don't think to tell me if that was Jose Lothario, you wouldn't do the same thing? I don't think so. Look at Shawn Michaels. What moves were getting in the ring from him? Michaels holds onto the head of Ken Johnson here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Did you see how easy that was? I wish I was Lothario. If it was Lothario, I did the same thing. I'd have knocked him out, too. I can't wait for that match. Well, you're pretty smart because you had the referee come in between. You had him blocked out, then you just reached up and sucker punched him. You know, I know you do a lot of things, but oh, well, what can I say? Hey, in love and war, all is fair, Steve. And if you can't handle it in this business, you might as well get out of it. This is the tough man's business, baby. And you can ask Jose Lothario, Chavo Guerrero, or anybody. Oh! Cross body block. Oh, I thought Michaels had him. Yeah, you see him holding onto the trunks there, Steve? I don't think he was holding onto the trunks. A little later on, ladies and gentlemen, Voodoo Malumba will be here. Also, the American Force will be out there, the Texas Tag Team Champion. And coming up in the next match, a man we haven't seen in a while here on Texas All Star Wrestling, Vinny Valentino. <laughs> Rudolph one? No, Vinny Valentino. Oh, oh, Vinny Valentino. Wow. What is this, from the grape country? Is that where he's from? Michaels grabs the leg of Ken Johnson. There's a spin him around and a drop kick. Going to the side headlock, Shawn Michaels, San Antonio, Texas, San Antonio Road. <laughs> what am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> I don't even like the song. Well, I know there's a nice backdrop by Ken Johnson. I know you're a country music lover, my girl, so don't tell me you don't know who Bob Wills was. Sure I do. I'm sure you know who he is. You were about the same age as he was. <laughs> Slam by Ken Johnson. Elbow by Ken Johnson. I think you wrote that song, didn't you, Stan? I may have. They exchange blows. Vinny Valentino, I'll tell you what, we ought to take up a collection for that guy and buy him a pair of boots. He don't even have any boots. Well, Michaels finds a knee in the midsection. Now look the that elbow to the back. Elbow smash. On the ropes of Johnson. Here he comes. Has that fist doubled up into the back of Sean yeah. Michaels. Look, look at real exciting Sean Michaels. <laughs> Not too exciting now, is he? <laughs> Michaels gets backflip as Johnson got a shoulder in there, buried it in the midsection, flipped him over. Johnson reaching for a slam. Oh, backbreaker. You see that? What did I tell you? You can't sell this Johnson guy short. He, he knows a few tricks himself. The exchange blows are directly in front of us here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. They're backing into the corner. Michael's in the corner. Ken Johnson in front. Johnson grabs him by the arm. Whips him all the way across the ring. In goes Johnson. Michael's moved out of the way. Johnson buries the shoulder into the steel post that holds up the corner over there. I'll tell you what, look at that. Look at that young kid, Michael's huffing and a puffing. You know, if he wants to get in the major leagues with Chavo Guerrero and myself, he's be able to wrestle all night long, baby, because I'll wrestle. I don't care how long it takes to defeat my opponent. Here he is. He's up on the middle rope. He's pounding the head of Ken Johnson. Oh, he's going up on the top rope. On the top rope, there's a fist. There's a flip. He's up. He catches Johnson. He backflips him. Drop kicks him. Drop kicks him again. Oh, this Shawn Michaels is really exciting. As a man, there's that power slam. It should be all over. One, two, three, and it is. It's all over. Shawn Michaels flipping off that rope, coming up with some great moves. And Shawn Michaels wins another one here on Texas All-Star Wrestling as he defeats Ken Johnson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the match for the next ring, we're going to talk to El Madrill. Look, I, I don't want to talk to you because you don't understand English. I'm going to talk to this man here. Okay, Shawn Michaels was great, yeah, but he interfered in my match and Chavo Guerrero's match. Now, Chavo Guerrero's isn't going to be in the ring right now, so Shawn Michaels, you get back there and watch that monitor, and you see a genius at work here, baby, and then we'll see how tough you are. He has no business getting involved in our business. Uh, we're going to show the people what you're talking about a little while from now. But right now, let's join our ring announcer. Weighing in at 232 pounds from Brooklyn, New York, Vinny Valentino. Weighing in. 
in at 236 pounds from Mexico City, Mexico, Chavo Guerrero. Person in the house clapping for Chavo Guerrero, and that's Al Madrone. He's standing right here next to me. I have to say one thing about this Vinny Valentino. You know, Stevie, he was here a while back, right? And uh, he impressed a lot of people. This guy can wrestle. He's been around a lot. But he's in the ring there, like I said, with a master, Juan Chavo Guerrero. You hear that, Guerrero? Well, you say you're not Spanish, but it seems to me you got all the uh, pronunciations down. You know all the twists and turns of the tongue. Well, uh, Chavo taught me how to pronounce it right. Yeah, I'm sure you put a lot of miles together on the road, plotting against everybody that you get in the ring with. Hey, baby, that's what it's all about. You see that beautiful move there? Now, why don't you tell the people what a good move that was, Steve Stack? A nice, quick snap arm drag. Thank you. Putting Vinny Valentino down, but Valentino right back up. He locks the fingers. Now, they're going for the leverage as Madrill. Sits here and roots for Chavo Guerrero. Want to talk, tell all you fans in the San Antonio area, this is for San Antonio area only. Take advantage of the discount tickets for Texas All-Star Wrestling. Go by Centennial Marketplaces and get your dollar off tickets. That's San Antonio only. Centennial, what is that? Centennial Marketplaces. What is it? Grocery store. People can go by there and get tickets, huh? Is that where you buy yours? <laughs> Chavo Guerrero and Vinny Valentino. It's Valentino holding on to the head. Guerrero bouncing him off the rope. Down goes Guerrero. It's Valentino caught him with the shoulder. Over the top goes Vinny. Oh, he was going for the crossbody mark and Chavo caught him. But Chavo gets kicked off by Vinny Valentino. And Valentino with an arm drag. Valentino with a drop kick. And Vinny Valentino has taken care of Chavo Guerrero as he drop kicks him out of the ring. Look at Vinny in the ring. I told you, Steve, you know, I don't want to sell this Valentino guy short, man. He's been around. He knows all the tricks of the traits. He's made a few good moves. I'm sure he's impressed you. Anything impresses you. You know, a dog chasing the car would impress you. But I'll tell you what, he's in there with Chavo Guerrero. And Chavo right now, he wants Shawn Michaels so bad he could taste it for interfering on a match where he has no business in there. Well, he may not want him later on if he ever gets him in the ring. You know, talk's cheap. And uh, we'll have to see what happens when they get in the ring. Chavo has a leg of Vinny Valentino, takes him down. I want to tell you next week here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. Coming is Private Terry Daniels of the United States Marine Corps. And he is with the Cobra Corps of the United States Marine Corps. Oh, well, I'm really impressed with the Cobra Corps. You know what can kill a cobra, don't you? What? Well, El Madrill backs off now as he watches Chavo Guerrero scissor the leg of Vinny Valentino. You know, you just mentioned this Terry Daniels guy. I, I've heard about him. I've, I've seen him around. You know, he's got a heck of a body on him, and he works hard, and he tries hard. And he's been around the New York area. I think he's been all over the world, you know. But uh, he's coming to Texas All-Star Wrestling. And you know well, Steve, that the toughest wrestlers in the world are right here at Texas All-Star Wrestling. Yeah, Al Madrill couldn't have said it any better. There it is. You actually gave me a compliment. I can't believe that. I, I did. When you do something right, I'll be glad to compliment you. Valentino reverses on Guerrero. Oh! Oh! Chavo! Oh, he may stay down. I thought he popped something in his back. Did you see that smart move Chavo made, though? He just moved out of the way. See, that's what we do, Steve. We wait for these guys like like Valentino and like Lofario and like these Shawn Michaels. We wait for they make that right mistake, and then we take them and we beat them, and it's over. Here's Valentino off the ropes. Chavo in front. Look at Vinny. He's hooked him. No, he doesn't get him down as Chavo comes up with a fist. Chavo Guerrero with a kick to the back of Vinny Valentino. A little later on, the American force and Voodoo Malumba yet to come. <laughs> the American farce, you mean? <laughs> it's the American force. Yeah, the Hood and Hacksaw Higgins are going to take care of the American force and wait till Voodoo Malumba comes up here. Can you imagine, Steve, the Voodoo Malumba taking on the Terminator? Can you imagine that? <laughs> no, I can't. I don't know if a ring anywhere is big enough to hold those two giants. There's a kick to the side of the head of Chavo Girl by Vinny Valentino. Oh, he slammed Chavo's head into that turnbuckle. Here comes Guerrero off the ropes. Drop kick by Valentino. 
and Valentino drops right on top of him. Guerrero pushes him off. Referee is fed Sinclair. There's a kick. Well, both of them trying those kicks. Guerrero off the ropes. This time he goes over. He has Vinny Valentino down. One, two, and he kicks out. Chavo Guerrero has a fight on his hand here with Vinny Valentino. I always like the way Vinny, oh, what a kick from Chavo. This may be it here, Steve. Oh, what a kick. I mean, he turned around, jumped up the air, and landed that boot right on the jaw. Uh, wasn't that a beautiful move, you see? Can't you say one thing good about Chavo Guerrero or Al Madrill? We are the greatest, baby. Small package, he's got him wrapped up. Only got a two count. Looked like he had him. That's right, he looked like it, but Chavo is always a smart way, always thinking, always knowing what to do next. Here comes Chavo off the rope, there's a kick, puts Valentino down in the center of the ring. Chavo reaches down, grabs a hair. Here comes Valentino off the rope, Chavo's in front, what's he gonna do with him? Oh, there's that beautiful suplex. One, two, three. <laughs> Chavo, what I tell you, what Steve? What an exciting move from Chavo Guerrero. That was a great match, and Chavo was all the way, baby, all the way. Well, Chavo Guerrero, your compadre, <laughs> with another win here on Texas All Star That's Wrestling. for us, baby. I tell you. And he's Chavo making his way it. up here. On, I knew you could do it. He thought he had me, but he didn't. Shawn Michaels. You did a bad, bad, naughty, naughty thing. Your parents never taught you good from bad. You messed around with Chavo. You interfered. And I'd like for you people at home to see what I'm talking about. You talk about the sweet San Antonio boy. He never does anything. Roll that tape. Well, let's take a Roll look now tape. at the Freeman Coliseum when Shawn Michaels came into the match where Chavo and Al were battling it out. Here's the action. Well, the bandoleros are already in the ring. Never mind the bandoleros. Keep watching your screen now. There you see, there he is. Shawn Michaels, he's got no business coming into the ring. He wasn't in the match. He was not booked in the match. This was a tag team match. Now look, he's getting the bandoleros evidently. He got it from my corner. Now, no, now you keep watching this. Not only did he hit me, but he's giving the bandoleros to Jose Lothario so that he can go over there and hit out Madrill. Now, there it is right there. There's the evidence. Nobody can lie. Nobody can say he did not interfere. It's plain and clear, right in color. Well, what I makes you think you. that Michael's What do you mean, what by? makes you? Did you see the film? Did you see the VTR? Am I a liar? Does the TV lie? He came in there. He had no business. He put some scars in my head every time I look at my pretty face in the mirror now. I'm going to see Shawn Michaels' scars on there. Well, Shawn Michaels, you want to become a big leaguer. You want to play in the big leagues. Come on, boy. I am challenging you. I am making you a favor, okay? I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to let you wrestle with the former world champion. And you're from San Antonio. You want to show all your little people here how tough you are. Come on, Daddy. Get in the ring with me if you got the guts. Si tienes la fortaleza que se necesita para un luchador, para luchar contra un campeón mundial como Chavo Guerrero, quieres intervenir en mis luchas, te estoy haciendo un reto personal. A ti nada más tú y yo, mano a mano. Y vamos a ver qué tanto aprendiste de José Lotario. We're going to see if José Lotario is a good teacher as you said he is. Shawn Michaels, I can't stand. And I can't wait to get you in the ring and defeat you in front of your hometown people. Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because the action of Texas All-Star Wrestling coming up. This tag team match, ladies and gentlemen, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing on my left, with a combined weight of 475 pounds, from the South Pacific, the Samoan. His partner from Mexico, Adam Nu.
performance with a combined weight of 480 pounds, I present to you the tag team champions, the American Force, Nick Kaninsky and Paul Diamond. Well, the American Force has appeared here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. They're the Texas Tag Team Champions. They're going against the Samoan from the South Pacific and from Mexico, Aaron Du. I'll tell you that the American Force, their titles aren't on the line tonight, but next week, next week, the American Force will defend their Texas Tag Team titles here on television. You mean right on television? They're actually going to put their belts up for a change? They are going to put them. They have them up all around the state of Texas, but they're going to do it in front of all these millions of television fans. Well, I just hope all the people then, Steve, will turn out here and watch them lose their belts right on television. The Samoan gets thrown in by Diamond. Diamond with an arm drag. Diamond with a body slam. Diamond has the Samoan backing out of the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to put a date in your head. It's a long way off right now, but to be here before you know it, it's Sunday, August the 11th. Texas All-Star Wrestling Summer Spectacular, the biggest wrestling program ever in Texas will be held in San Antonio. That's Sunday, August 11th. You know, I was here for the last spectacular they had here, Steve, and they actually turned people away just to see Big Al Madrill. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you have yourself scheduled for August the 11th. <laughs> you got that right, baby. I'll be there, and I know all these people were going to want to sit in the Al Madrill section. Kaniski whipped into the turnbuckle by the Samoan. He tags out. In comes Diamond. Diamond kicking. Diamond puts a twist in the arm. Diamond really has the arm of the Samoan tied up tight. The Samoan on the ropes. Kaniski is back in. Kaniski catches him, flips him into the air. Kaniski takes the arm of the Samoan. And here comes Diamond over the top rope. Boy, this American force is tough. They really you know, move in that ring. You can't sell the American force short. You know, uh, to me, they're young guys. They, they got a good break and they won the title. I'm sure they stole it somehow. But they are a great team together. They work very well together. You know, but there's a lot of formidable teams, Chavo Guerrero, myself included, that would like a shot at these guys and take those titles away. You know, they don't put the belts up too often. If Guerrero and I were champions, we'd put them up every day. There's an uppercut. There's a tag. In comes Kaniski. Kaniski with an elbow on Aaron Du. You know, Kaniski goes back a long time. He's got a brother wrestling. He's got his dad wrestling. I'm sure you remember him, Steve. I'm sure you used to go to the matches and watch his dad all the time. I remember his dad well. Step inside to hold. Oh, Kaniski kicks him off. Kaniski's going to tag out the diamond. Aaron Dude comes up kicking. He grabs Kaniski. Kaniski is not the legal man in the ring. It's Diamond. Diamond takes Aaron Dude, lays him on the rope, throws a fist. There's another fist. Diamond has him up, slams him down. Here comes a Samoan. Diamond picks him up, slams him down. There's a drop kick. Slam Aaron Dew down. And now here's Diamond. Kaniski has him up, throws him on top of Aaron Dew. It's one, two, three. Yeah, but did you see that's team? They double teamed the guy. He couldn't do us in one on one. It was two against one. Now, what kind of champions are those? Well, there they are, the American Force. They win it here on Texas All Star Wrestling. Stay tuned because there's more right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a lot of inquiries about the Terminator. Not too much is known about him. So we went out and we have this special, and maybe this will fill you in on the 405-pound Terminator. I'm at the Texas All-Star Wrestling office with Jose Lothario and the Terminator. They're fixing to go into the ring with a little workout. And Terminator, I'd like to say that 
Your manager, Armand Hussein. Uh, excuse me, Steve. That's my ex-manager, Armand. Oh, excuse me. Your ex-manager, Armand Hussein, wouldn't tell us too much about you. And I wonder if it'd be possible maybe to get a little personal with you. Sure, yeah. Well, first of all, I'd like to know maybe where your home is. Where do you come from? Well, I'm from Huntington, West Virginia. I'm a hill boy, you know. A uh, hill boy and up yes, in the sir. cold country of West Virginia. Family lives there? That's right, sir. I have a big family. A uh, big family. Uh, Jose, you're going into the ring in just a moment with a Terminator, and I know it's a pleasure to have to work with somebody like him. That's true. You know, a lot of people being asked is why did the Terminator, you know, switch sizes? You know, and uh, he left the uh, uh, Armand Hussein or whatever his name is. And uh, I think when I saw the man, he's got a lot of potentials and a lot of ability to be a great wrestler, and that's when I talked to him and decided to be on my side. Well, you know, we get a lot of fan mail from around the United States asking about the Terminator. And well, hey, Steve, can I ask you to do me a favor? Like, you and friends who come to the matches, I'd like you to, and them to call me uh, what my family and friends back home call me. What is that? Bubba. Bubba? Well, if it, anybody weighs 405 pounds, you can call him anything he wants, right? That's right. He wants to call Bubba, we're going to call Bubba, whatever the men want. Okay, thank you very much. Bubba the Terminator, we're going to the ring with you and Jose. You fans join us and see how they work out. Well, Jose, we're in the ring with uh, Bubba the Terminator and some of his new friends. That's right. Uh, Tom, uh, you don't mind if I call Tom Jones. Hey, Tom. Tom, please. I want to show you something. You know, of course, you know, this is only a few things that we're going to do right now. Do you mind if you work out with my big man over here, big Bob over here? Don't Just mind at all. Not at all. There, please. Sure, hey, Nick, step over a little bit. Let Tom do something. Okay, well, Jose is going to have the Terminator with Tom Jones. A little work out here. As Jose has uh, got the Terminator in the ring, it's Bubba the Terminator. Jones going for the top wrist lock. That shows you how powerful Bubba is. I don't know, Tom might come back and want to try one more time. Uh, Jose says for Tom to try and to take Bubba down. He grabs that big leg. Well, the other way around, Tom's the one that goes down. He's in the side headlock. Uh oh. Okay, don't drop him. Bubba has him, he sets him up in the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's take you where Bubba picks up the big weights. Let's go to the Olympic gym and watch him in a workout. Well, Bob, here they are now, All Bubba right. and Jose. It's about time they got here for that workout. We're going to really push some iron today. Jose, how are you? All right, okay. Hey, Bob, you hey Bubba, to good to see strong. you. All yeah. right, we're ready to do them benches today. All right. Well, you know, 405 pounds, Bubba. You were here at the gym, and I guess might tell us quickly how you got to be this big. Hey, Bubba, these heavy iron, Steve. You know, I really enjoy it. Keeps me big, keeps me strong, keeps me ahead. Well, now we're going to get a little warm-up before we get to the big stuff. That's right, yeah, a little light warm-up. Okay, let's get on the bench and see what we got here. Looks like we got about 200 and some pounds that uh, Bubba's going to try to work out here with for us a little bit. How to step out of the way. There you go. Nice way to warm up at the Olympic gym. And he just keeps going. I, I've lost track of how many, but... Uh, Makes it look nice and easy. Okay, now we're up to 315 pounds in this workout. Let's see if old Bubba does it right. Okay, we're up to 405 pounds now. Spotting is Bob Dixon, the owner of Olympic Gym. Easy. Easy 600 pounds. Let's go. Strong. The one you've already done. Ah! already done this today. It's lightweight for you. Strong. Uh, Jose's going for the big one. 600 pounds. That's right. That's a lot of weight right there, Steve. And, uh, you know, I just hope you make it because, of course, he's done it before, you know, now. Because you, know, you never know. Let's, let, let's move in there and listen to what it takes to pick up 600 pounds. <laughs> oh, Bubba got it up, all 600. Well, 
I hope that filled you in on the Terminator now. I want to tell you one thing, Steve Stack. You've seen the films and the videos on that big fat slob. He's a star now because I made him a star. And I spent a lot of money on you, Terminator. But I got the last laugh. The great Honorable Armand Hussein has got the voodoo man. Boy with the full scene on a double head. Tell the past and the future. Heal the sick and give eyesight to the blind. And take good looking women from all monkey men. And he's going to take care of the Terminator one time and for all. He's my man and I'm happy. I'm so happy I don't know what to do. You said that Hussein was finished but no more. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Voodoo has returned to Texas All Star Wrestling. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. Well, here we go. Tag team action again. The Hood and Hacksaw Higgins out against Manuel Villalobos and Greg Contreras. <laughs> I'll tell you. You're giving, you know, Steve, I get tired of coming out here. I know you begged me to, but I get tired of coming out here and watching my friends take care of these San Antonio's finest. Well, you better watch out, Elmdo, because your love will have to face some of these San Antonio's finest. Here is Villalobos getting an elbow from the hood. I know you like the way the hood wrestles. <laughs> you know, this man is a very mysterious man, Steve. I've seen him wrestle for years and years. But I'll tell you what, he's the greatest masked man I've ever seen in my life. Axel Higgins is his partner. Oh, he missed out when Bill O was a nice drop kick as he laid it on the jaw. That's where time is about to expire, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget that coming soon, Private Terry Daniels of the United States Marine Corps. And then next week, the American Force will be putting their Texas Tag Team Championship on the line here on television. That's right, so I'm hoping all the fans are going to watch the American Force lose those belts right on TV. Well, Madrill, I want to thank you for taking your time and coming up here and, uh, and enlightening us on your views well, of wrestling here. I'll tell you what, Steve, I hope you guys can come up with a little more money for, for me to come out here, and I hope that you can write another song besides San Antonio Rose, you know, maybe to make some more money. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to have time to see the rest of this match as our time has expired till next week. On behalf of Texas All-Star Wrestling, this is Steve Stack saying so long. Goodbye.